this is something I've cultivated for a long time and avoided things that make me unhappy and figured out what those things are and been very rigid about eliminating them from, from my life. And one of the big ones is eliminating interactions with people that are negative. That is gigantic. And be, people are fuel. You know, like just talking to you about your time in the monastery or your, your push to get to that hundred miles, like you get energy out of people like that. And you think about this energy and you think about this inspiration when you're doing other things. And it also sets in your mind that when you meet these exceptional people that move you, like what are the characters, what are the qualities that they have? What are the characteristics that they, that they possess? And those things become significant and important to you. Whereas if you live around a bunch of people that are complaining and bitching about everything and they see the negative in everything and they're always whining, those people are the opposite of that. They're the opposite of inspiration. When you're around happy, inspirational people that are successful, it makes you feel better and you get inspired. And if you act on that inspiration, your life will be more fulfilled. And it's not just inspirational in terms of financial success, but in terms of doing difficult things, whether it's running a hundred miles, it doesn't pay you a goddamn thing other than the, 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 the wealth of the knowledge that you can push yourself to such an extreme. There's a great feeling in these overcoming these difficult things because life is never this just constant state of I'm at a nine all day and when I'm with my wife I hit ten yay and I stay like that that's not real you're a human being you, you evolved from the hundreds of thousands of years of hunters and gatherers and people that were struggling those re human reward systems are carved deeply into your DNA and if you don't respect that if you don't respect the mechanism of happiness and fulfillment and what you really need to do in order to feel satisfied in life camaraderie love family friendship struggle testing yourself learning all those things are imperative they're all a giant part of being a person